Howdy, 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 everybody, and I am going to the ranch. Oh, no, no, no. Very good. Howdy, 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 everybody. I'm Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and welcome to Link the Faces of Evil Remastered. Uh, this was released just like a day or two before this was recorded, and um, yeah, all that information is going to be down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, one dude went, out, went through it, went through and just like in Game Maker, pretty much built this game up, built this game from the ground up. And the reason why it's called Remastered is we have a Remastered mode, which is, which increased, it, I say increases, but improves the play control a whole hell of a lot compared to the original. In the original, you had you had the up button for jumping, you had the sword button on button one, you had everything else on button two from opening doing the doors, crouching down opening your inventory, using your secondary items. It was a mess. And it plus it was laggy as fuck. Because it was one of the first CD-based things on the market, so of course, you're gonna have a little bit of lag. And, uh, in particular to me, Nowadays, I have this. I have this lovely Xbox One controller. It has been very, very... It has been a loyally good controller for a lot of my PC-based gaming. But back then, while they do have a con they did have a controller option like that, I was stuck with something more like this. Uh, just imagine, like, having a control stick here, and then you have the buttons here, button one, and then button two. And that's how I played this when I was a kid. Um... Yeah, frustrating. And um, if you want a good idea of how frustrating the originals are, check out the D-Pad over on their channel. They did a run of both this and one of Gamelon, and all I gotta say is, poor Rick. Poor Rick. I, I think I think he I think he has some new gray hairs because of these games. But um, you know, enough just showing. And yeah, by the way, I went through these games once off camera and. And when you beat them, you unlock a, you unlock a hero mode, which is basically a harder difficulty, which I'm not in the mood for. Gee, it sure is boring around here. Well, that's why we're playing this game. It sure is boring around here. I just I thought they strove for the love of battle. But then again, King is the king. He's pretty good. <laughs> One of the big things: subtitles. Which is which makes me confident I can talk over this. Plus, they've been this has been the subject of YouTube poops for years, so yeah. I think everybody everybody knows them. So, also I like the fact that the map background is still like on the borders of this. This is where it's fine, you know. Well, these full, fully animated with backgrounds um, cutscenes. But then you're gonna see in just a moment where it gets to be a little off. I guess I'd better get going. Uh, Here is the map. Bleh. Where do you wish to go? And look at that side there. It's like, really? I mean, and I realize it's the limitation going from what normally what it used to be up to the thing it has now. So I know you're working within limitations, but it's still a little weird. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of runners because this this game has been speed ran. You know, like the original CDI would version uh, well obviously at this point uh has been speed run and most people they just start here in nortinka to get snowballs which you would think which sounds weird especially for a zelda game but trust me the the snowballs they come in handy later on uh i actually this is the second time trying to record this segment because the first time i was the first time i sat down to record this i double i thought i double checked everything on my obs and turns out um you actually have to unmute the mic in order for it to work. You also have to pay attention so Garaya doesn't deck you in the face and kill you. That's okay. Basically, you have infinite lives at this rate. You know, with just having to restart a room, so... And I think with remastered mode, you don't have to worry about going back to the map unless you run out of time. Which, you can just wait five seconds and go back to the map. If that's the way you want to do it. Uh, as you've also noticed... You just walk in items, pick them up instead of having to stab them. Ugh, the music is still great, though. Eh. There we go. And enemies don't respawn until you leave the screen, so that's good. Alright, now. Last, la my first time recording this, I just decided to start with Trader Cove and do a little bit of it. Ow, motherfucker, come here. Ow. Ow. 
I said, ow, assholes. All right, now we get this guy. Notice how we don't have a sword beam yet. That's the biggest crab I ever caught. <laughs> it's a goma. You're pretty good. Here. Thanks. For identifying a goma, we get sword beams. Full heart, but eh. Keep going, boy. You're doing real well. Once you get rid of Ganon, we can get back to fishing. What are those bags under his eyes? Looks so weird. All right. Ah! Yeah. Those Garayas that throw their... Motherfucker. Excuse you? You're the fucking dead on there, asshole! Ah, oh well. I got the key from earlier. Let's go in here. Dyra's came straight from the crater till I boarded the vent. Used a skull for a latch and not one Dyra's figured it out. God damn, you know, subtitles would have been great back in the day, because when I was a kid, I could barely understand her. Like, okay, Dyra's came straight from the crater. And bear in mind, I, I, was, I wasn't exactly living in places that did not have, like, southern accents or anything. I was living in Texas at the time. So, it's not like, it's not like I hadn't heard, and plus, you know, my, at least my mother's side of the family is from the south. So it's not like I didn't have any knowledge or... or know how of southern you asshole hey dick cheese come here d nine yeah as you can see there are two triforce squirrels in each area there's the one that tends to both send you back to the map but one increases in advances that's the word i'm looking for but now that we have some fireballs we can go back to nortinka we can gather more snowballs if we wish yeah, how do you like me now? How do you like being a how do you like being attacked and killed before you can even get a shot off? How do you like it? Hmm? 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 Don't like it, do you? Eleven firestones. That should get me enough. Whoa! Okay. Didn't realize I did it like that. Alright. Here, have some water of life. My, you're thirsty. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I didn't even play her first. I didn't even play her first. Her first thing. But yeah. Help! Ganon froze the fountain. I'm stuck. How do you get stuck? Does like look around. Hmm. There's like nothing. There, there's no fountain here that I can see. How do you? How do you get stuck? How are you stuck? Oh, damn, two of one, two of one. That's pretty good. I do like the fact that the fire, sto the fire stones are like a triple shot. Oh, boom, oh. All right, what are you, dude? I am the reader, Ipo. Hi, if Ipo. If you bring me the book of Korodai, I will gladly read the secret verse. All right, you gotta read the secret verse. Now, in the original, you had to jump up to, tap to hit this. Not so here. And we're gonna go straight to Tokyo Lighthouse because... It's gonna, because we're gonna have a very, very super important item that we have to pick up here. Key. Ah, ah, fucking Moblin. Damn you muscle memory. I don't have to stab to pick them up, which is both a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing in which, you know, I don't have to stop to do that for everyone. But I would like to be able to pick them up from like far away if I can't, if I need to. You're not afraid of dragons, are you? No, not really. Uh, of course not. Then get my necklace back from Gliok, okay? Pretty please. I think Link's more afraid of you than any Gliok. I think by this point he's beaten at least three of them. Six if the second quest of the original is, is canon. Six, maybe seven. He's beaten a bunch, let me put it that way. All right. Whee! Look at how well this flows in comparison to the original. Like, you can jump. Jump is all one button. 
an actual button. Hey, asshole. One button. One button to do this, but also the same button for doors, but that's okay. You don't even have to open up your... You don't even have to be crouching. You do it in midair. That's pretty cool. You have a different button for your items. So you can use them while you're crouching. That's pretty awesome. Alright, assholes. Hey! Throw! Miss! Fuck you! Oh, you mother... Come here. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, don't you fucking do it! There we go. Ah. The original... There, there is one downside to this. In the original, you could just go up to that part and then keep climbing. Here, you have to go all the way back down. Hey, dude. It's mighty dark with all the evil about. Keep this lantern full. It'll light your way. Thanks. Yay! We have a lantern. Not many left, Link. There's Drulik round the side of Glutgo. I... What the fuck is a Drulik? I've been through this game, and I don't know what the fuck a Drulik is. Anyway... Now we're going to go to Goronu and eventually take on our first boss. How much do I have? Oh, nice. 40. 60. 80. 90. Okay. 90. 100. 110. And then 5. 10. 15. 20. 25. Okay. Ah, oh, we'll talk to him. Rope? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rubies. Rubies, instead of rupees. Ah, uh, hey, I'm gonna try this. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Fuck you. Come back when you're a little, mm, richer. Fuck you, you capitalist pig. Anyway, I say that as I go and get more rupees. Rupees, not only... Whoa, hey, buddy. So, in this game, rupees not only are not only your currency, but they also power your magical items. As you'll as you'll see later. We don't have that yet. But. Uh... Oh, fuck you! Come here. Die. Die with that boulder. I meant to do this first, but that's okay. Alright. Uh... Hi! Look and see Goronu. With this animation, sleepy bones find the living and cut their vile throats. <laughs> Never say die of being averted. I mean, it's it's not the first Zelda game to do that, but uh, hey, and in we go. I may be hideous, but after I mean, you're not the most hideous. I was frozen today! Now, he talks about being frozen. So you'd think he would have, like, an ice-type power, right? What am I doing that for? I got ropes. Ropes are good. Ow. <gasps> He's already attacking me from up there. Fuck you, dude. Fuck off. Hey, Garonu. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, hey. You there you go. Me. No, no, no. <laughs> what the fuck? No. Now, I mentioned you've noticed me picking up things while touching them before, but not this. Well, items like this, you still have to stab them. Uh, now the next boss is going to be Harlequin Bazaar. So I've opened up some new areas, Beerfish Falls, Arlequin Bazaar, Firestone Lake, and we're going to concentrate on that the next time, because I don't want to do this all in one go. <laughs> um, I'm going to save here. There we go. I know it's on auto save, but that's okay. So uh, yeah, eh, we're a little bit ways in and probably take four or five videos at this rate. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, you know, as always, do the like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. You know the routine. I don't know why every YouTuber and their grandmother feels like they have to say it. I think it's YouTube's fault on that one. Because the algorithm demands it, but that's for another day. 
Uh, anyways, you know, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.